Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. Hello everybody, this is Danny Lambert with Plush Republic. This is the third video in my Mixpanel course. Uh, in the previous one, I showed you how to install Mixpanel client side using Google Tag Manager. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install uh, Mixpanel server side for a Node.js application. Um, so within Mixpanel, one of the hardest things to do um, is properly set up your identity management because um, you could always do just a server-side implementation or you could do a hybrid client-side server-side implementation. Um, so that's outside the scope of this video and some follow-up videos. Um, we'll go in deep on uh, identity management across both the client and server-side and how to best uh, resolve that within Mixpanel. But in this particular one, I'm just going to show you how to get um, Mixpanel installed within your Node application. So uh, Mixpanel has great docs. I'm in here within um, my project, I just pulled up their docs on Node.js implementation, so we have it, um, and it tells you exactly what you need to do. So, just go into your terminal, uh, and it, from here, I've already done this, so I uh, I won't do it, but you just take the npm install code that they provided for you, which is just npm install mix panel, you would copy that, you'd paste that right here and hit enter um, to make sure that um, that went through, you would just go into your package.json and make sure that you have a uh, mix panel in here, which I do. So then after that, it tells you that all you need to do is uh, actually add these two uh, little code snippets right here to your app.js and your route. So I'm just in my main app.js file. And you just have to add these two, which is essentially setting up mixed panel variables um, within your application. So now that I have that set up, what I need to do is actually go get my um, unique token for this project, because right now it just has this placeholder text. So you'll go into your project and you'll click your name and you'll go to profile and preferences. Uh, you'll go to projects, you'll find the one that you're looking for, which in this case is this mixed panel course, and you'll take this second one, which is the token. You'll hop back in, and you will just drop that right in there. Um, then I need to add this in one more place. I need to add this to um, just a route so I can actually test to make sure this is working. So I have my main index route here. I'm going to add this here as well. And all this index route does is just loads my main page, which I'll show you in one second. And just hook this up, go back, re-grab that token, drop that in here, and hit save. So now if I go start up my application, the page that that is running on is is right here. So I have I installed the uh, package by doing npm install mix panel, and then I put those two um, variables on my main app.js page and this route page so that I can call um, a mix panel track call when this page is loaded. Um, so right now I'm just going to test an event similar to how we did in the client side. It's not going to be set up properly. I just want to make sure that this integration is actually working um, before we go into our follow up videos where we start. Uh, tracking events and identifying uh, people, pro identifying people and setting up people profiles. Um, so what I'll do to test that is I'll just take this mixed panel track event here and just drop it into this route. So what this route does is it just loads that home page that I just showed you. So I want to before I load that page, if there's no errors, I'm just going to set up a test property. You see uh, distinct ID, some other properties. We'll get into those in depth when we do the identity management resolution and, and figuring out what properties you want to send and what we want to track. Um, but for now, I'm just going to send a very basic event called viewed homepage. I'll hit save and then I have to just 
um, shut this down real quick and start it back up. So run node app.js, go back to the browser, and then I will reload this. At this point, I should have now just sent that Mixpanel track call um, into my project. So if I go back, go to live view, you see a uh, viewed homepage. Perfect. So you're noticing this doesn't have all the properties, the default properties that the client side library has, um, which is a very big distinction between client and server side tracking. And you'll notice it also doesn't default set a distinct ID like the client side tracking does. So these are all things that we're going to go through, which is uh, passing distinct ID, merging that via uh, aliases, and just the overall uh, best practices for identity resolution, and then sending your personal properties um, through to Mixpanel. So uh, just brief overview, what we had to do was run an npm install uh, Mixpanel command, and then add the two Mixpanel variables to the app.js, as well as to my routes, and then just set up a um, basic track call to make sure the information is being sent through correctly. Um, so now we have Mixpanel set up on the client side from the previous video and Mixpanel set up on the server side in this video. And from here, we're going to uh, move on to setting up an event tracking spec and then eventually into um, identity management and actually passing through this data. So I hope you enjoy this video and stay tuned for the rest of the course. Oh, this new crazy mother...